Tuck Shop and welcome to another Thunder Laser tutorial. Up until now we've done some cutting with our laser and we've got to use some of the controls in the Ruida controller. So today we're going to up the ante quite a bit and we are going to do a process called Vector Art. Now it is a cross between a cut and it's not exactly an etch. I'll show you what I mean now. Uh, and incidentally, we are going to use Lightburn because Adi works. It's a good program. It's a good starting program, and you know you can use it professionally too. But if you really want to get serious with your thunder laser, you need to go to Lightburn. So. I go over to the main computer now and uh, I'll show you how to use a few of the tools in Lightburn and get a fairly decent result. Well, here we are in Lightburn. I've already connected this into my laser. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to come up here. Now, first of all, the controls are much the same as RD works. Um, but we'll go into the controls of this program in future videos. But for now, we're just going to go up here and we're going to import. And we're going to import a line drawing. So I think we're going to pick this one here. That's, let's have a look what size it is. Okay, it's. 350 millimeters. We're going to make it a little bigger than that actually, quite a bit bigger. We're going to make this um, 500. Now to make sure that we don't distort this picture, I've got the the um, lock on there which locks the aspect ratio. So if I alter one figure, it's going to come out, you know, without distorting. So we're going to go 500, press enter. And now it's come off the screen slightly, so so to get that back on the screen, I can either catch hold of it and move it down, which is easy, or you can use the alignment tools up here. But uh, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to just position it somewhere in the middle. Now we've got handles around it, so we're okay to go there. Now. If you come up here to the tools section, scroll down through. Now what we want to do is trace this picture, this is this, this art drawing. Because we want the laser to draw this on some wood. So we come down here to trace image. And Okay, so it's come up as purple, and you can see here that it's not. It's done a pretty good job straight off, actually. Not bad at all. But if you wanted to, actually, what I'm doing there, I'm using the scroll wheel to scroll in and out, uh, and if you push, if you hover over the the, the image and push left and right mouse key down together. You can move this around in space. Oop. There we go. Um, now, the cutoff, if you move the, if you scroll the cutoff up, it, you know, sort of diminishes what it's going to outline. So I would say, say tend to leave this all the way down. Um, let's come into an area where should we come into? We're going to the eye area. Now if we catch hold of the threshold you can see that we're either going to make it sharper see the lines are coming sharper or we can go smoother like so. So if we get a, a happy medium is about midway. 
Um, and again, this is uh, smoothness, this figure down here uh, and here. Now, what this is saying is ignore two pixels or less. So you can see here the grey pixels um, and some of the darker pixels is actually ignoring them. It's only picking out the black. Now you can alter that by by altering these slider bars. Um, so smoothness, if you take that figure up, if you notice uh, some of the some you know some of the sharpness is coming out of it. So there's a sharp point there. You can take that out if you wish. Like that, make it a little smoother. See, they, they all become a little smoother now. Let's come out and see if it's made any difference. Eyebrows, no. I don't know why there's jewellery over those eyebrows and not over this one. <laughs> but, that's how it is. Okay. And, the, you know, the reason for doing a pic picture like this and tracing it with the laser is I could etch this use the whole picture as an et etching but the when it removes the material out of the wood it's a sort of a dull tone you know it's, it's a it'd be a dark gray I want a nice black like pencil line that's going to be a, approximately 0.2 of a millimeter between 0.15 and 0.2 millimeters of nice black marking. That's what I'm looking for. Um, you know, and you can do a picture like this, and uh, you know, even make a frame for it, um, and put it in something like a hairdresser's or uh, you know, a restaurant. Wall panelling, it's very lucrative. And this is fairly easy to do. And uh, it's not that expensive to actually set yourself up to, to manufacture these. So I'm happy with this now as it is. Let's just make sure on the cross here. Yeah, everything looks okay. I think the laser is going to do a very good job of that. So we're going to OK that. OK, so now we're going to set, set this up. Uh, it's already set on line. Okay, so we don't want an output on the image, that's correct. We want an output on the... All right, let's, uh, let's double click this and set, set this up. Speed 50 millimeters a second. That's, you know, this, is, this Thunder Laser has servo drives. That's gonna be fine. It's not gonna go back and forth, back and forth. This is gonna follow each line. So it's going to change direction very quickly over the whole power top. I think I'll knock the power up to, I think it probably needs to be 15. Um, I'll just get something a second. Okay, in one of my earlier videos, um, I s drew this little test CAD, if you'd like to call it that, and I started off at 1% uh, of output and drew these lines, and it went all the way up to 15. So the bottom line down there is 15%. So that what this was telling me, it told me a number of things. First of all, 3% the laser starts firing, which is extremely good. Uh, my other laser, I think, didn't uh, really fire to a, to about eight percent. Um, now, this bottom line here we're looking at was fifteen percent. 
and I've measured that and it's uh, approximately uh, 0.2 of a millimeter uh, across the, the, the beam width um, which I think is going to be fine so that's what I'm going to set it at I can always stop it and you know raise the power if necessary so we want an output okay that's fine I'm going to be happy with that it's okay and notice it's set on line okay so it's very similar to a cut Oop, but okay that first okay so that's that's all all good um, so before we go any further let's come up here now and go to the simulation and let's uh, let's play the simulation uh, incidentally on here it's telling me that uh, it's oh look at that 50 50 thousand millimeters distance um, estimated time is 22 minutes that's okay that's okay so let's uh, let's play this and of course we can speed this this up but this is exactly what's going to happen what the, what the laser is going to do so let's speed it right up of course this is 40 times actual speed and the program has actually cut down on uh, rapid moves in other words uh, you know started up here and uh, you know it's going sort of in a methodical order as it were That looks pretty good to me. Let's have a little, little look. Yeah, that's that's okay. So that's exactly what the laser is going to do. That's not a bad job. You would not get any any type of uh, results like this with RD works let me tell you uh, it, it will it'll do simple geometry but when it comes to complex geometry like this is only one program and that's that's light burn okay so I'm going to put this into the laser now and let's burn it <laughs> 